Good morning, girls. I would like to show you the setup of our art table. First, you should squeeze off the cool colors and the warm colors on your palette. Okay, yellow, green, cobalt, blue, Prussian, blue, ochre, brown, yellow, and red. So you can choose your own colors. Okay. But make sure you have blue, warm colors and cool colors. Right? So on your right side of your table, you should have your clean water and one container of water for washing your brush. Okay? And you should have your scrap materials, your twigs, tooth brush. Okay? even a comb your paper cardboards or your plastic cards a wanted ruler shell cloth pack these are all just some of the scrap materials I've collected you can have other materials too okay so if you are right hander Put all these things on the right side. And of course, get ready your brush. Also on the right side of the table. Okay, we're going to start with the caterpillar. You remember the last time we did rainbow caterpillar? Today, we're going to do caterpillars that have the colors of trees and plants. Right, let's start with greens different shades of greens right as you know trees have different shades of greens so how do we get shades of green simple you can take the green direct from the tube and form beautiful shades of green using water and the yellow green right and remember if you want to change your color wash your brush and then dip on a clean water and you can change another shade of green by mixing blue and a warm color right a warm color mix it very quickly and try another shades of green uh, I have got more water. Let the water flow. Right. And you have another shade of green. And pull. Remember, you pull. Look, look at the color and water that mix. Okay. So I want to try another shade of green. Form as much as more ochre. How does it look like? So you, you realize this is yellow, but uh, this is more warm, right? More like a trunk of the tree. But we want to mix different shades of green. So again, you can try mixing darker blue, right? Persian blue. Look at this green, beautiful. So try thicker paint, thicker paint, right? Less water. Try pulling and pushing. Pulling and pushing, use water and check and form different shades of green right, I want to change I want to have a lighter shades of green I, I can try I can try yellow how does, how does it look like yellow more yellow this is thick. This this green is right. Now I'll try more water. How does it look like? More water. I'm gonna put it up. So this is your warm up exercise before we paint. We should always have this warm up exercise so that we can check out all the different shades and tones of green. That we can use later in our painting 
of the city in the garden right so let's try another shades of green by adding um, more yellow look you can always put it here and form caterpillar on different caterpillars right do a quick Right, I want some more shades. Dark, you know. And I want to try uh, colors that's not mixed with too much water. Oh, look at this dark, beautiful dark green. Right? So, girls have fun doing the green caterpillar. Remember, try using water, more water, less water, because we are doing watercolor please remember use water right can you can always change it again remember to wash your brush okay especially if you want to I, I would like you to try different shades of green because this is the place where where you will practice and afterwards you will find like gems in in the caterpillar so look at this caterpillar so long where which greens do I like? Hmm, I like this. I like this this green. Hmm, how does it look if I put more water? Oh, I like this. Look at this gem that you have here. Right? So afterwards when you try painting, applying this technique in in painting your tree, the leaves, the crown of the tree, you look at this caterpillar and you see, oh I, I think this this is the green that that I want to apply on my tree uh, this is the green that i i want to apply on the darker part of the tree Tr uh, crown okay or oh, this leaves oh looks dark oh this this is the this is the green that i should i should apply so this is how you use the caterpillar to help you find the colors that you want okay so do the same thing for browns okay different shades of brown do the same thing okay so i'm going to give you a very quick brown so brown right i will start with brown right brown and then i want to try different shades of brown okay girls remember to wash your brush okay wash your brush get clean water and try another shades of brown look oh look at this nice brown. wash your brush Take another shades of brown and you can mix yellow and dark and brown to get another shade of brown look it's another shade of brown and if i put more water what does it look like oh okay so you see the shades of brown right put more water there will be another shade can you see the shades right the shades change so i wash my brush again and let's go for a different um, mixture of red, red and green. You will get a very nice brown look. Very dark brown. And you see, oh, this is purple, not brown, Miss Kwa. Right, then you just take a bit, take brown and look, it becomes brown. It's a beautiful brown here right jam get more water how does it look like if your water is dirty please change okay wash your brush and have more water and let me try another brown use just brown and uh, shades of blue and yellow look at this brown so every every brown every mixture that i that i try is is showing me a different shades of brown okay so do as try as many shades as you can so that afterwards when you try applying these shades this brown on your tree trunk you will find that 
wall it's it's going to stand out because there's dark and light on the tree trunk and that should be it that should be it right I'm sorry this noise okay right I like more um, more red so look I'm gonna if you observe your tr the trunk of a tree you can see shades of reds can't you yes you can Right, so do this exercise and after that you are going to use this brown caterpillar to apply on the trees of Singapore. Enjoy! Bye!